Well, as our lockdown continues, version two, it's really important to think about people who are struggling again. And with that in mind, I'm joined by Peter Washington, the Bank Solidarity Fund, one of the guys who's running this. Uh, Peter, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, where are we up to? Because obviously money was flowing in the first time round. Uh, is it still the same or have you got money left over from last time? And have you had much call so far on your services? Well, we obviously... Uh people have heard about us and we've been running since March uh, just after the first lockdown and we've got quite a cross section of the community involved in the uh, in the fund and yes we have got uh, monies that we uh, that we want to uh, distribute to people um, what like sort of people are we talking about on this Peter then who, who, who is eligible to, to receive money from you Anybody's eligible, and it's it's anybody that seems to be falling through the cracks and who are really suffering financially. Um, so the, the best thing to do is if people are uh, suffering financially is uh, to go onto our website um, to the maxsolidarityfund.com forward slash apply and put an application in. The application has to be done online. We don't have people. We can't employ people. We're all volunteers. Um, so if they put all the information in there, uh, we will look at every in every application is an individual application to us and we look at it and we judge it to make sure that it fulfills our criteria and our objectives of a, of a charity. So, yeah, if people are struggling, just put the application in. Give us some idea how much you've paid out on the last time round. Well, since we've been going very shortly, we'll be hitting... Um, an allocation up to £450,000 that we've distributed on the island to, to, to people. Um, and uh, th these are large sums of money that, uh, that, that we have collected. And I want to thank some of our supporters and individuals and businesses across our community uh, which have contributed to this fund and uh, which are enabling us uh, to redistribute this money to people that really need it. And I presume this goes on. If people want to still donate to you, you're most welcome to hear from them. Oh, yeah. If anybody uh, feels like we're the charity that they want to get involved with, yeah. Again, if they go on to the Max Solidarity uh, Fund website, how to donate, it's, everything is on there for them uh, to get in touch with us and, uh, uh, and donate. It is an ongoing process that, we, that we're looking at. We quite, quite often, when we're talking, we see this as being a marathon uh, not a sprint. And I think this three-week lockdown that's coming at this stage for us just proves to us that long after we think that everything's been done and dusted, but there are going to be people that are still suffering uh, financially, emotionally um, from the effects of, of COVID-19. And uh, we still aim to be able to support those people. I love the I'm use of marathon because obviously Christian Varley did so well for you. As, you know, that's one of the high-profile events, I remember. Well, you, you've seen where I've pinched it from. That that was tip, that just typifies um, the charity that uh, when we were looking at this and uh, everything that Chris Barley did um, has been amazing for us. And uh, that just typifies the, how we feel that this is uh, the charity is going to be uh, moving forward. So really the point we're getting out here today is, and I've had quite a lot of communications from people uh, waiting to hear from the Treasury Minister who will be uh, doing the conference today, but as we speak at a time of recording. But, you know, it seems to me there are people falling through the gaps. So no one should just sit back and worry about it at this stage, at least uh, if they're not getting any support from government, at least fill in the application form and see where that goes. By all means, do that. That's the, that was the original intention. Sometimes uh, the best will in the world from the government... Um, uh, they can't cover everything, and this is one of the. This is why we've got such a, a, a cross section from the community. We can look at things, different aspects of our community, to realise where things may be going wrong. That that, that we can look at. And, Anybody, and, any organisation can mm -hmm. uh, put an application in. And, and the sort of the money you give out could be what from ten pounds to hundreds of pounds. Uh, it's, I don't think we've actually been as low as ten pounds. <laughs> um, we're talking hundreds and thousands of pounds that we're giving out. Right. Yeah. Uh, some people have been very resilient, and they've worked their way through this financial 
um, problem that, 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 that we're seeing, but it's an accumulative effect. And lots of people have gone back to work. And as they've gone back to work, they're still maintaining their income and they're still paying off their bills and, and carrying on. But some people have been left with a debt that they can't seem to uh, to get back uh, and get on top of. So this three week is going to uh, that could compound those situations. And so some people have been quite resilient, might find themselves that this might just tip them over the edge. And as a as a charitable fund, they're the people that we're saying just put the application in and we'll look at it. You fulfil our criteria and our objectives as a charity, we'll support you. And and you. Touch on there. I mean, three weeks is, is a starting point. No one actually knows yet where we're going to go on this, do we? We, we honestly don't know where we're going to go on this, and this is why um, we have been carrying on right throughout uh, COVID nineteen on the island. Everything seemed to be getting back to normal for lots of people. But as a charity, we were still working behind the scenes because we're still seeing the applications of people coming in. We're still seeing people that are struggling. We are still still seeing people that are struggling to put food on the table and they just need that help to get them through this crisis. 